Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Marvel Studios Secret Invasion trailer. This released about two weeks ago and I'm going to be reacting to it today along with a breakdown of it. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn notifications to the channel and let's jump into it. That Nick Fury. Why oh, not a scroll? For oh, years. Maybe it is. The You've been avoiding Earth. Fury. But I have called for your help plenty of other times, and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Yeah, it is. Okay, it is. Yeah, well, this is different. <laughs> how much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean? How much do I know about it? Fury, we gotta be very careful now. We've seen him before, right? I know, yeah. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us. the beginning this is my war alone and i'm the last person standing between them and what they really want oh. and what is that Talos. Disney Plus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That is the Secret Invasion trailer. Now it's time to react to the breakdown of it. All right, so this is from a guy called Heavy Spoilers. You can check him out and let's react to the video. Okay, so the trailer for Secret Invasion is now out, and throughout this video, we're going to be breaking down the Easter eggs in it what happens in the comics, and also our general thoughts on the first look below. There's a lot of things to talk about, and the Nick Fury Focus Project is going to be centered around the secret invasion by the Skrulls and a lot of high-ranking government positions. The show will be more of a thriller similar to The Winter Soldier, which I think is one of the best MCU movies ever made. We're going to be going over it all, but there'll also be heavy spoilers in this video due to us talking about what we've heard on some of the characters. There are rumours and scroll names floating around, so if you don't want those potentially ruined, then I recommend that you turn off now. Without the way, a huge thank you for clicking this. Now let's get into Secret Invasion. Now the teaser has Fury stepping off an alien ship, and if you cast your mind back to the ending of Far From Home, then you'll remember that he was travelling with the scrolls. Talos was of course masquerading as him in the movie, and he's also back to being in the same form that okay. he was in Captain Marvel. Must save a ton on makeup, That's and it nice. means that Ben Mendelsohn can reprise his role as the head of S.H.I.E.L.D. Don't know why no one is asking why he isn't 30 years older, but maybe they're in on it too. Now yeah, judging by so what cool. they say in the teaser, I actually think Fury might have been away longer than it appears to be. They kind of touch upon that in the teaser, and we may discover that he disappeared after the events of Winter Soldier, or even Age of Ultron. The Funko Pop for the character has him looking like when he went incognito, and they may reveal he's been off-world for quite some time now. If we discovered he went before the events of Winter Soldier, then that could even explain why he was able to survive being shot in that. Maria said that she's tried to contact him several times for help, but he's let those calls go to voicemail. You see kids, you don't ghost Nick Fury, Nick Fury ghosts you. We then watch him travelling about to his contacts, including Rhodey, and we also get a shot of Everett Ross in a similar getup to Fury, showing that he's lying low. I'm not too sure on who this woman is, so let me know below if you know. But yeah, she finds a gun in an envelope, clearly for her protection. Potentially, Nick sent this out to her, or it could have an even more sinister side. Might come to a point where she has to use it on herself, rather than being taken. But hey, it's Marvel, so it probably shoots bubbles or something. Now I love this shot when Talos grabs who I'm guessing is the Skrull leader and we watch all of the punters at the restaurant morph into Kingsley Benadier. We don't know who this actor is playing but it's such a good shot watching them all change. Even got the staff there showing that they have people everywhere. 
Now as for Rhodey, he'll likely just be a cameo in the show, similar to how he was in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Secret Invasion, of course, had major heroes being revealed to be Skrulls, and with him being the the only Avengers-level character in it, I think maybe, maybe it's him. Now, I've seen lots of theories that this might be used to explain the recasting in Iron Man 2, but then he'd look like a different person, so I don't know why he'd shapeshift. You also have Armor Wars coming up, which will be centred around the character, so I do think that Rhodey will probably remain human. Now, as for the comics, they basically had Secret Invasion as a major event that spanned several book lines, and it was heavily centred around Avengers and the X-Men. We obviously know from the first look in cast list that they won't be in the show, but they will be taking the main theme of it and applying it to the series. Now that centers around a Skrull invasion that happens on the planet. In the MCU, Skrulls were portrayed as the good guys, so my theory is that there will be a faction within them that wants to take over the planet. They were of course left as refugees at the end of Captain Marvel, and there will be some who probably think that they can just take over the Earth instead. Now in case you haven't read the book, I want to talk about what happens in it, so you kind of have a heads up over what could be popping up in the show. The work picked up in the aftermath of Civil War, and it began when Nick Fury discovered that Skrulls had infiltrated major parts of society. He unearthed the plan by Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, where it seemed like she planned to kill him in order to gain access to secure shield intel. Fury struck first, but she turned into a Skrull, making him realise that they had double agents amongst them. This is definitely something I could see popping up in the show, as Val has become a big character, and she will probably tie into this in some way. Now Fury went into hiding after realising this, and he ended up sending Spider-Woman into S.H.I.E.L.D. to keep an eye on things. I think in the show, this role will be taken up by Maria Hill, who we know will be in the series. Interestingly, the comics reveal that she was a Skrull as well, and as we know, one has posed as her before. Now at the time, Tony Stark had been put in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. due to the events of Civil War, but here it looks like Talos is running the show. He of course appeared as Fury before, and can change into anyone that he needs to. Fury started investigating things, and we watched events play out with Tony, as he discovered the same thing with Reed Richards and Hank Pym. Spider-Woman played some four-dimensional chess and handed over the body of an Electra Skrull, which made them start looking at things a lot closer. She told them she'd found a crashed Skrull ship in the Savage Lands, and the group then ventured out there. This is when the Skrulls launched their attack, and there was a major fight. At one point, Tony was even convinced that he himself was a Skrull, and had been hypnotised into thinking that he was the real Stark. This didn't turn out to be true, but I can see them doing something similar with Fury, as he of course has had Skrulls pose as him before. In the end, several characters were revealed as being shapeshifters, and this included Hank Pym, Jarvis, Mockingbird, Dum Dum Duggan, and even Spider-Woman herself. Eventually, the good guys won, but national security was never the same, and the world faced another major crisis. Just another Sunday night in the MCU, But yeah, it had big ramifications on everything else. Now, who Olivia Colman's character is, we don't know, but there are rumours about her. According to leaks on the show, she will be playing a character called Sonya Falsworth, and she will work as the head of MI13. MI13 is a UK-based agency that's obviously playing off MI5 and MI6. They deal with paranormal and supernatural activities, and they've been known to handle several alien invasions, which is why she's been brought into the show. Possibly a scroll, she will likely be one of the big characters in the series, but is she good or bad? Let me know below, I know you want to let me know. Now as for Amelia Clarke's character, we still know very little about her. She will however play a big role in the series, and again spoilers for who this character could be. Take it with a pinch of salt, as we don't know any of this stuff for definite, but Daniel RPK dropped the scoop saying that she was a scroll known as Gaia. This is a character that pulls from the comics, and along with her fellow agent Kleur, they masqueraded as a family on Earth. The pair raised three daughters together, and were basically a sleeper cell similar to Black Widow's family. The entire lot of them were hiding out on Earth waiting for the invasion to kick off, but one of their daughters was taken by Project Blossom. Their kid Ivy was thought to be dead, but this later turned out to be untrue. Facing this new enemy in Project Blossom, the pair tried to take them down, whilst also continuing their mission of the secret invasion. And the pair even posed as Pepper Potts and Tony Stark at one point, And though I doubt they'll do that in the show, because he's dead. Spoiler alert. (laughs) I still think she's going to be a big character in the series. Potentially, she's even the key to taking down the scrolls, and I can see her sort of switching sides throughout. Anyway, that's the trailer, and as for my thoughts on it, I'm very excited. Though it massively seems to be differing from the comics, I think if it's in the same vein as Winter Soldier, then it'll still be really strong. If you've watched my Disney Plus show breakdowns, then you'll know that I've had my criticisms of the MC releases, but this could end up being something special. 
Samuel L. Jackson is obviously a massive star, and hopefully they're putting the work in to deliver something worth him stepping onto the small screen for. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts on the show, so comment below and let me know. We are running a competition right now and giving away 3 copies of Top Gun Maverick on the 15th of September, and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and comment below with your thoughts on the teaser. We pick the comments at random at the end of the month, and the winners of the last one are on screen right now, so if that's you, then message me on Twitter at Heavy Spoilers. If you want some else to watch, then make sure you check out our breakdown of She-Hulk, which will be linked on screen right now. We go over the major things in it, talk about all the easter eggs, and give our theories, so yeah, head over there after this. By the way, thanks for sticking through the video, I've been Paul, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace. Alright guys, there we go, that is both the trailer reaction and the breakdown. Let me know what you think of them down in the comment section, and are you excited? I hope you are. I know I definitely am from that. I'm excited to see Nick Fury again because I think he's one of the cooler characters and um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn notifications if you did. And I will see you tomorrow for another video. Peace.